The Awirgan Scrolls, First through Third Aspect First Aspect The first scroll is marked with a chastened chieftain's sigil. Mine daughter was taken by the caster, and mine legion met him. She was pried from his blood scrawls, but some horror did inhabit him instead. Mine legion could not contain, and I ask for a seal, whatever the faith, price be paid, scholar. The second scroll is vellum with archaic script and phrasing, but the red ink remains somehow wet. Of binding a symptom no vial can contain you, one of three separated in prevention. Unbound but cage, I must not follow. Truth will hold you, for that is what truth does. The second scroll ends with a crude map and a handprint in red, the little finger severed at the first knuckle. Second Aspect Two scrolls. The first is a letter bearing the seal of a lesser or lesion noble house. Our line is dead but still walking. I know not if it is because of the old ways, but my three boys are now something other because of want. If he can be called on, I ask you, scholar, to do so, and the price is paid. The second scroll is vellum with archaic script and phrasing, but the red ink remains somehow wet. Of binding a symptom, no vial can contain you. Two of three, three yourself asunder. Caged but still meddling, you will not goad me. Truth will hold you, or it is no longer true. The second scroll ends with a crude map and a handprint in red, the little finger severed at the second knuckle. Third Aspect The first scroll bears Ravani markings. He was our hero against Parvalin, and, and we were in awe. Perhaps it was our fault. There was a day when he changed and saw us as servants, not those he offered to serve. And then he was infested. We need a seal, scholar. In the faith you choose, the price is paid. The second scroll is vellum with archaic script and phrasing, but the red ink remains somehow wet. Of binding a symptom, no vial can contain you. Three of three, you perverted a man elevated by others. I will not yield, even as I must turn to face you. Truth will hold you, or a new truth we will create. The second scroll ends with a crude map and a handprint in red, the little finger severed at the root. A badly copied leaflet. Take back our streets! Ferelden refugees, Canary soldiers? Who's next? Tavinder slavers snatching children out of their beds? This ends now! Send a message that Kirkwallers will not accept this. We must band together to drive foreign waste from our doorstep. Reclaim the free marches for the marchers! If you care about our future, join the friends of Kirkwall. Reclaim our city! Bill of Lading A note is scrawled on the back of the bill. Bill of Lading, Smeddy's Fish Guttery, Crate 1023. Gamlin, I'm sure you're losing patience by now, but what is one small trip to the warehouse district after waiting 20 years to get your hand on this gym? Find the crate noted on this bill. Enjoy your search! Blood Mage Dispatches We narrowly escaped Meredith's hounds. The city just isn't safe, Bancroft. We must get five out through the gates tonight and get to the caves. It's that or risk capture and interrogation. MS. Casualties. The hounds nabbed Frankie the Cobbler tonight. No one knows where he is now. Don Beschel and his wife were killed three days back. They're no longer just hunting us. They're hunting our friends and family. To the void with the consequences. We must strike back while we still can. A. I can get two out tonight. A guide on the other side will take them to the refuge. Don't pick anyone with a cold. Last time, a careless sneeze almost alerted the guard. Bancroft. Shipping notice. We can't trust the raider's promise of passage. The Templar's bounty on us is far too tempting. Press on every contact you have. We must leave Kirkwall before the Night Commander does something drastic. Each night, more of our brethren make it to the coast. If the hounds sniff out your current location, the other site we discussed is clear. Be prepared to leave at a moment's notice. Bancroft.
Captain Rayner's accounts. Sold. Two barrels of fish, by Count's Keep. Three barrels of rum, hanged man. One male human mage, Danzig, Undercity. Twenty-five Ravani furs, Helton's clothiers. Capture Gamlin. Bring Gamelin to the caverns where we first met. If he's not alive, you won't get a single copper. A crumpled note. Gamelin, I found the gem of Karashek. If you want it, come to Darktown. Alone. Dockside Redirect, Woodrow's Warehouse, East. This document is in order to redirect cargo to Woodrow's Warehouse to the east. It is endorsed with Harbor Master Liam's barely legible signature, along with a note from his assistant, Aiden. A relation port authority seal? Here? Suggest we apply the special rate for this. Emmerich's Notes Emmerich's Notes are a messy collection of half-baked thoughts written on scraps of paper. Only one seems to stand out. There's something about that low-town foundry where Marin's trail ended. I've got a strange feeling about it. A Letter from the Circle My dear friend, I have obtained the books you requested. I'll leave them at our usual hiding spot. Please collect them as soon as possible. I would hate to see them in the wrong hands. Your last letter was fascinating. You have proved me wrong once again by doing the impossible. I shouldn't have doubted your resolve, and I hope you will keep me appraised of further progress. Your friend and colleague, O. Meredith's Apology Messire Dupuis, please accept my humble apologies for recent events. The Templar Emmerich has been reprimanded for his wrongful accusations and for arousing suspicions within the city guard that led to the raid on your estate. I will see that he is restrained in future. Sincerely yours, Knight Commander Meredith. Olivia's Letter to Thrask Father, I know the sacrifices you've made to conceal my secret, but I am a child no longer. I cannot burden you my whole life lest my secret destroy us both. I must live my own life as a woman and as a mage. It is oddly freeing to write the word. Farewell, Father. I hope one day you make peace between what you have been taught and what you have seen. All my love, Olivia. A scribbled note. Entry 1. Use quickline to preserve her feet. Unsure whether texture of the skin is to my liking? We'll try other methods. Entry 2. Marin. It's a pretty name. I saw her hands. Long, slender fingers. Fair skin. The hands of a lifelong scholar. Oh, to lock my own clumsy fingers in hers again. Entry 3. Today is our anniversary. I'd hoped to complete my work before now, but one piece is missing. I'm so sorry, love. Please wait a little longer. I haven't forgotten my promise. When I see it, I'll know. I would know that face anywhere. Entry 4. It's close now. My long wait is almost over. Am I doing the right thing? It all seems so clear to me, but now... What have I become? When did this happen? Someone will eventually try to stop me. I've left too many clues for them not to. When they come, should I try to stop them? Maybe the Maker took her from me because I deserve to lose her. No. It's too late for me to stop now. The Maker will need to stop me if he thinks I need to be stopped. No one else. Tell 
Sir Ulrich's letter. To Her Excellency Divine Justinia, I am well aware both you and Knight Commander Meredith have rejected my proposal, but I beg you to reconsider. The mages in the free marches are past controlling, their numbers have doubled in three years, and they have found a way to plant their abominations in our ranks. They cannot be contained. The tranquil solution is our answer. All mages at the age of majority must be made tranquil. They'll coexist peacefully, retain their usefulness, a perfect strategy. It's simply the best way to ensure mages obey the laws of men and maker. I remain, as always, your obedient servant, Sir Otto Ulrich. Templar Letter Sir Bardell, I have told you a hundred times not to bother the Knight Commander with your pathetic questions. She's a busy woman and has no time to nurse you through your crisis of conscience. You are under my command. If you take issues with my orders, you bring them to me, or I will see you stripped of your knighthood. The Mage Carl is dangerous and we must take steps to deal with him and any friends who are assisting his rebellion. I expect this done by the next week. If I must see to it personally, I will also find out exactly why you failed to carry out your sacred duties. The Maker has given us a divine task, Bardell. We cannot fail him. Sir Ulrich. A thank you note. Gascard, thank you kindly for your last shipment. It arrived in almost perfect condition. The requested payment is on the way. Please use the artifact with care. The creatures can be difficult to control, even for an experienced mage. A pleasure doing business, your friend. A Torn Note A torn note found in a conspirator's pocket. It will not tell you again. It's not safe to bring new recruits to our meetings. Meredith has eyes everywhere. Bring anyone who claims to be against her to Garbaldi's warehouse at night. We must ensure their loyalty, lest Meredith discover us before we are ready to confront her. A reply from Starkhaven. Monsieur Dupuy, this is in regard to your inquiry into the missing mages. I would like to remind you that the duty of seeking out missing mages, if there were any to begin with, would fall to the Templars of Starkhaven, not a minor nobleman from Kirkwall. I would also like to take this opportunity to remind you that the Circle of Magi, as a whole, does not welcome casual inquiries about the mages in its care. Thank you, First Enchanter Radic. Wallet Mallet Gamlin, this gem is very pretty. I can understand your obsession with it. Remember the game Wallop? Find the place your Wallop Mallet came from. Your answers are there. Grey Warden Letters Take the first boat from Amaranthine to Kirkwall, then proceed with all haste to Weishaupt Fortress. If the roads prove too perilous or blocked, our agent in Kirkwall can assist. Find the dead drop located in an alleyway near the Lowtown Foundries during daylight hours. Protect the letter at all costs. Warden Commander of Ferelden. The limitations put upon my research have greatly hampered progress. With just a few subjects, I could test certain critical hypotheses. However, the information sent about the architect has proven invaluable to my efforts, and I am pleased to report limited success. The last shipment was quite helpful for my research, Commander. If you could double the supply next time, it would prove most efficacious. Additionally, the information regarding the architect has proven invaluable. We made several breakthroughs recently. As the architect surmised, considerable untapped power exists within Grey Warden blood. When properly prepared, its effects can be remarkable. 
but my research has also revealed some alarming implications, which I've attached in the old Acanthan cipher. I urge you to send this to the First Warden at once. I will conduct further tests as long as I'm able. My documentation is very thorough. If time finally claims me, others may follow in my footsteps. Avernus.